NASA and SpaceX launching a history-making mission today. Four, three, two, one. Ignition. And with cheers from Mission Control, that rocket blasting off, carrying four people to the International Space Station, including a Russian cosmonaut and Japanese astronaut. It's the first time SpaceX has brought a Russian to space. And one of the two Americans on board the Dragon capsule, Nicole Mann, now the first Native American woman to fly into space and command the mission. Following it all with us, astrophysicist and science educator, Hakeem Olusheyi. Hakeem, so good to see you. You know, this was a huge day for diversity in space exploration with Commander Mann leading that mission to the ISS. What was your reaction when you witnessed the historic moment when it finally blasted off? Well, again, I thought that, you know, when humans work together, we can accomplish anything. And what I see is that the trend is in the right direction. One of the, um, you know, our human resources are our greatest resource. And it is, you know, we talk about sustainability. What's more sustainable and renewable other than human energy, human innovation, human creativity, and our undeniable will? So this crew just showed that, you know, everyone has something to contribute. And what really stands out to me is that for the first time this century, Americans are taking Russians to the space station rather than the other way around. <laughs> yes, which is such a good thing. It's that undeniable will that you That's talk right. about. And, and you know what, Hakeem, this mission is going to last, what, six months? So tell us more about what the SpaceX crew is really seeking to accomplish uh, at the ISS. Right. So as we do our space research, we have many goals that we um, that we attempt to advance simultaneously. But right now, what we're focused on is humans back into space, crewed missions. So we're not just talking about low Earth orbit while the I where the ISS is. We're talking about having a space station orbiting the moon, having a lunar base going beyond to Mars and even mining the asteroids. So now we're putting together this infrastructure and we have to do a lot of testing and there's still a lot of technology that has to be developed. So they're running experiments. They're running experiments to see how we can better mediate the effects of uh, space radiation on the human body. How can we grow food in space without soil? And how can we monitor the health of, 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 of astronauts in real time? The spacesuits today are, you know, definitely upgraded from what we had in the past. And one of the things they do is that they have sensors on them that measures the astronauts' biology. And now on this mission, they're testing a wireless communication system to beam that data directly back immediately in real time. Yeah, it really just, it, it's, it's wild when you think of how far we've come from the amazing. days of, you know, Neil and Buzz. And so, you know, to follow up on something, you mentioned the Russian cosmonaut that's on board. What do you yeah. think that tells us about how NASA and Russia's space agency, you know, can still work together as we're right. right here in the middle of this war in Ukraine? You know, long before globalization was a commonly used word, scientists were already globalized. And so, you know, we live in this weird space where we hear the geopolitics, right? And we hear what the leaders of nations say. But then we have our colleagues and other nations that we work with, and they are the nicest people in the world, right? So there's a big difference from the people who are everyday people and the leaders of our nations and what they have to contend with. But science has had, is, is, is this one area that seems to have a certain purity about it, a certain respect, because ultimately we're all in it for the same thing. You know, we're trying to understand the universe and better to understand ourselves, and we're also developing the technologies of tomorrow. And together, there are a lot of things that we can get accomplished that we otherwise would have a difficult time doing on our own. All right, let's talk about technologies of tomorrow. You know, just the yeah. impact of these modern day space missions, right? Using privately yes. built rockets, especially as private companies are sending space tourists now into orbit. I mean, what does this all mean, not just for what this crew is looking to, to, to analyze and, and investigate, but yeah. just for the, the common person that never would have even been able to dream about launching into space. 
absolutely right. You know, it, the, the idea that you could buy a ticket to the moon, right? <laughs> and and, and, and right, go around right. the moon and come back to Earth. You know, it's science fiction. <laughs> But science fiction becomes science reality. And, you know, it's almost as if the science fiction writers create the goals and then, you know, the scientists figure out the, the, the way that we can take advantage of nature and then the engineers build it, right? And all together, we now see these things. We're building an infrastructure for space now like we never had before. And I'm so proud of the way that our nation is built, right? If you, you know, if you look at the example of England in the 19th century, well, you know what? We have innovation built into our system, and so that's what we're doing. We're innovating, and we're creating tomorrow today. It's like the days of uh, watching George Jetson, right? The cartoon Absolutely. Saturday. <laughs> we never thought that we'd be talking like this, right? And, and seeing that there could be opportunities for so many more people than just astronauts and cosmonauts. That's right. Hakeem, so great to have you here in the Bureau, by the way. Love having you. you in house. All yes, right. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> All right. See you soon. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.